on this edition of AJ Update. We will be taking a behind the scenes look at Apache Junction's new surface water treatment plant. Then we will visit the Apache Junction Community Veterans Center and find out more about the important work they are doing there for AJ veterans. We will end this edition of AJ Update with an overview of the city's online legislative management and research tool. Apache Junction's first surface water treatment plant is now operational. So September 19th, this past month, we started blending slowly. Blending some of the water that we are purifying here at this facility with some of our system water. So we began by delivering about uh, a fifth, like 20% on that date. And we have slowly started increasing the amount that we're delivering from this facility with the rest of our system. The plant is now officially named the Superstition Area Water Plant. The plant is situated south of US 60 adjacent to the water source, the Central Arizona Project Canal. This water comes from the Colorado River, like I said, so it does come from the uh, Rocky Mountains and it, it finds its way into Lake Powell and uh, eventually into Lake Mead and then from Lake Mead it travels to Lake Havasu and from there it is pumped about 300 miles to this facility and the canal is the Central Arizona Project Canal. That canal terminates in the city of Tucson. We're fortunate because the canal is uh, just on the, uh, on the edges of our city boundary. So it's excellent for us and uh, opportunity to begin delivering CAP water. Back in 2015, at the groundbreaking ceremonies for the plant, local officials talked about what this project means to the community. This, this uh, water treatment plant is going to help Apache Junction grow and we'll have our, our water for the future. We're finally going to be, rely, be able to rely on ourselves for our own water without having to worry about Arizona water helping us or getting water from Mason for the interconnect. It, it's, it's about time that we sit on our own. Because this is a project that's been in the works for a long, long time and, and it's nice to see it finally come to fruition. There's been a lot of effort by a lot of people to get this done. So. This is an awesome start. We, we partnered with Mesa through the Mesa Interconnect and got water from them, treated water from them. This will allow us to be independent, to be our own city. We'll treat our own CAP water, surface water. And so what it creates is an independence. We're not dependent on other cities or other plants. And we'll be able to kind of determine our own future. Recently, AJ Update attended the open house for the Apache Junction Community Veterans Center. The center is located on the grounds of the Desert Chapel United Methodist Church at 462 North Palo Verde Drive. We caught up with Mike Ferguson from the Veterans of Foreign Wars who explained what the center is and why it's important. Uh, we're uh, celebrating uh, the opening house of uh, the Apache Junction Community Veterans Center, which is open up to all veterans and their families to, uh, that has an issue of any sort to come by and uh, we'll try to help them get a solution to it. If not, we uh, are getting contacts and getting resources to where we can get them to the right agency and the right individual to get the, the solutions they need. This organization started back in 2011. It started out as the Arizona VFW Charities, which is statewide, and we've been uh, uh, a 50C3 for that many years, and we've been raising money, and we've been trying to get to the veterans and find out where the issue is. Well, we haven't got to that many veterans directly. We're hoping that this Veterans Community Center takes off to where, if we do it correctly, we can start another one in another city wherever it's needed and where the veterans are at. We caught up with City Council Member Dave Waldron to explain what the center is for and why it's important. Apache Junction has the largest veteran population of Pinell County. Uh, one, of, one of the problems, one of the hurdles, of course, for veterans out in a kind of a rural area is getting transportation to regular VA and state services. So here, because we partner with the state, and, and the Veterans Administration, they can come in here and we can help them navigate them in the proper direction. The, the real hurdle is the homeless veteran because we're trying to provide a service where they will come here and we will actually leave somebody with their gear 
wherever they happen to be sleeping so that they don't get ripped off. Want to learn more about upcoming meetings for the City of Apache Junction? We have a virtual one-stop shop for all of your meeting needs. The first thing to do is visit apachejunction.legistar.com. Then do a quick scan of the meeting dashboard to get oriented to the different options available to you. This is all depending on what information you're looking for. Just looking for an upcoming meeting date for council or a board or commission? it might be simplest to filter by selecting the appropriate date. If you are more interested in a specific board or commission, you can filter for that as well. Once you have selected an option, there are a few things you need to be aware of. For archived meetings, you will see options for downloading the published agenda, the minutes, or you can watch a video from that meeting. Please be aware that all documents for downloading are in the .pdf format. You will need the free Acrobat Reader from Adobe in order to view those documents after downloading. <laughs>